Hi, I'm here with Chevy Chief Engineer Eric Stanzak. And today we're going to be putting the new 2015 Chevy Silverado 2500 HD to the test. And Eric, I think when you're putting these trucks to the test, I think you need to do it in real world environment. I think it gives an opportunity to show how the truck can help the consumer in their day to day life. I completely agree, Howie. You know, we've spent a long time developing this truck. And if it can't cut it out here in the real world where people really depend on it, then we got to go back to the drawing board. OK, so what are we going to do today? Well, one of the things that makes a Silverado so dependable is we've constructed the bed of roll form steel. Rolled steel as opposed to what? We use roll form steel in the bed of both our light duty and heavy duty pickups, as opposed to other materials like stamp steel or aluminum. Unlike stamp steel, the roll forming process allows us to use a lighter and higher strength steel. That helps with the bed's durability and strength, and it helps us achieve overall greater vehicle efficiency. So today we're going to be going head to head with the 2015 Ford F-250. So supposedly our competition. That's right. We're going to be measuring torsional rigidity today, and we're going to see how the bed reacts under frame twisting. Frame twisting makes my back hurt just thinking about it. <laughs> that sounds complicated. What do you mean frame twisting? Frame twisting and torsional rigidity actually measures how the bed reacts under uneven road conditions. Yeah, as we saw earlier today, a lot of uneven terrain around here. But it's terrain that will mirror the kind of terrain you're going to see on job sites. That's absolutely right. So why don't we get started, and we'll do the Ford first. Competition. I love it. So this is where it gets interesting, Howie. Wow. There's quite a bit of separation there. Well, that doesn't sound good. Sounds like me in the morning. Look at that thing twist. Now let's get a measurement. Well, that's about 0.95 inches. Now let's try to open that tailgate, Howie. Cool. Stuck. Not surprising when you look at how twisted the bed is. Now imagine if there's a payload in the back of this truck. I I'm confused, Eric. Some trucks claim to own work, but if the back of your truck doesn't open up, how are you going to get any work done? Well, it's well said, Howie. Let's go try the Silverado now. As you can see, there's very little twisting going on here. Quiet. What a difference. Let's see how much we actually have. It's a little more than a quarter inch, Howie. Now let's go try that tailgate. Piece of cake. Here's the thing, Eric. If you're with your truck, you're out on a job site, you're going to deal with similar terrain. It's surprising that this isn't something that every truck can handle. We hired a third party independent company called AMCI Testing. What they did was they ran the same tests that we ran here today and certified similar results. Seems simple to me, but it's kind of important out on a job site to be able to get the bed of the truck open. Well, that's why I would stick with a truck from a family of the most dependable, longest lasting, full-size pickups on the road. But I'm going to take this one home. <laughs> Fourth a shot. 